what's up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video uh we are just doing a get ready with me nothing too crazy um i did pick up the new sephora love the lift mascara so i'm gonna just zoom you guys in and we're just gonna play with that today i'm not gonna put on any falsies today also i did pick up a couple shades of the new makeup by mario super satin lipsticks so i will swatch these towards the end when i do my lip combo i also did pick up one of the new nyx duck plump um lip glosses in the shade banging bear um also did get my hands on the new nyx marshmallow setting spray it is supposed to be a matte finish makeup setting spray so like i said i didn't pick up much there are some things that i'm gonna go into sephora and purchase some things that just came out so definitely have some videos coming for you guys before we jump into the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below um someone did ask me to also try out the new covergirl foundation that kind of looks like the chanel one i guess it's supposed to be the chanel dupe i did go ahead and pick that up um i wasn't really excited about it when i saw it but i was like okay i'll just give it a try so i might be a little late to the party with that one as opposed to everybody over on tiktok but i will definitely review that for you guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video First and foremost, you guys, I want to start off by saying Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve coming into the new year. Um, what I do like to do is I like to curl my lashes first before going in with mascara. Again, this is only $12. This is the new uh, mascara from the Sephora collection. So I will actually let me really look up the claims of it because that's something that I did not do. While I'm sitting here trying to review a mascara, okay? Um, because I am doing this, I am not going to put on any falsies today. But this is called the Love the Lift Curling and Volumizing Mascara. Again, for the mini size, it is $6. For the full size, which is what I have, it is $12. Now... I just personally want to read the claims on this. So this is an ultra black and buildable weightless mascara enriched with gravity defying wax for an instant curl and 12 hour lift lifted volume effect. So we will definitely kind of see how this goes. I personally have lashes that they kind of droop down no matter what mascara um, that I wear. So... I am going to go ahead and apply two coats of this mascara just to kind of see if it is buildable. I know that some people like to build their mascara. I feel like you can see a little difference. What I like to do also is once I am done with my full face, I do like to go in and curl the lashes one last time. You know, once the mascara has had time to dry down. So that way we can see if it gives it a little bit more uh, lift to them. But so far, there's no clumpiness. It's not messy. Um, it's not as liquidy. It is a little bit more on the drier side as far as the formula. So I definitely, again, cannot wait to see how these hold up. But as you can see, my lashes are just kind of straight. All right, you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not clumpy or anything like that. Um, I mean, I feel like it's cool. It does what it does. But yeah. It's not bad for $12. <laughs> so for primer, we're going in with both Huda Beauty primers, the Jelly Primer and the Glowish Balm for the center of the face. I want this to kind of help control those pores just a little bit. And as far as the Jelly Primer, that is going to go on the perimeter of the face. It's not as tacky as all of the other primers that we use um, that have like that gripping factor. But I do feel like it is a long-lasting um everyday primer by Huda Beauty so we're going in with the two I'm gonna let them dry down and sit before I go in with any foundation all right you guys for foundation this is the Kosas revealer 
skin improving foundation it does have spf 25 this is in the shade 250 which is medium tan warm so i am going to take a couple pumps of this kind of place it on the face and then i'll just blend this out with a brush using a brush has truly been my go-to another thing i wanted to ask you guys do you have like a favorite moisturizer that gives you just this really like hydrated water like you literally drunk your water type of vibe i purchased the pharmacy honey no pharmacy halo what is it called pharmacy honey halo moisturizer in my heart it's not worth the 48 dollars. and i purchased so they have two sizes one is 48 and i think the other one is like 72 dollars or something like that mm. It, it, it's not doing it for me. I'm not saying that my face feels dry, but it doesn't give me that juicy, plump, shiny type of glow. And even though I have oily combo skin, I still like to be overly hydrated. Um, I just think it's important, you know, for the skin still. Um, it's a good skincare, you know. <laughs> All right, for cream bronzer, we're doing the Juvia's Place cream bronzer in the shade Caramel. This, I honestly maybe used twice. Um, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and pull this back out. I was watching OMG Lashes video here. I think it was her most recent uh, YouTube video. And I was like, wow, I kind of forgot about this cream uh, bronzer. We purchased and, you know, for those that receive PR like we literally like I am obsessed with makeup some people have different things you know but I purchase so much makeup and I forget about some of everything because I just have my staples that I use on a regular basis so <clears throat> sometimes I just kind of lose sight of like other things but also, you guys, uh, for cream blush, this is the Yummy Skin by Danessa Myricks Cream Blush in the shade Bellini. That is the lighter shade that I have. I chose to go with this one. I just felt like that, that pink was <laughs> the other two shades. One of them was a lot deeper of an orange, and then one was like a deep pink. That, to me, was just too much for today. Even though this Bellini shade, it looks a little bit lighter, it still packs a pretty punch. So, still, if you have not tried these, um, I definitely recommend picking them up. And I'm blending this out with the new e.l.f. Uh, Liquid Blush brush. So, this is the Kosas Concealer in the shade 6.50. I did see that they came out with some new shades, so I do have one in my cart. It will be a little bit lighter than this one um, because I noticed that this just kind of, once I blended this shade out, I just feel like it just kind of went with my skin tone a little bit. So, I definitely will pick up the lighter shade that I saw. Again, they did release new shades with the Kosas Concealer. Um... For setting powder, I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Setting Powder. This one was fairly new, um, and I have mine in the shade Translucent Medium. Also, you guys, because my concealer was not as bright as I would have wanted it to be, I am going to go in with H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer, and I have mine in the shade SF. 2w so you guys will definitely see once i place that down over this concealer how much brighter it is but i definitely feel like it worked out for me um with this with this look because i wanted a brighter inner corner for my concealer
Now going in with pressed powder, I typically um, use this. Some people like to use loose powder to set their entire face. I like a more pressed powder to set the perimeter of my face. And this is the MAC Studio Powder Foundation, I guess, um, in the shade NC42. So that is typically the same shade that I would use when I set, um, I'm sorry, when I purchased my liquid foundations as well. Um, I did go ahead and set before I did my lower lash mascara. Again, I am going to curl my top lashes one last time. And then we are going to go ahead and once the face dries, I'll go in with my powder bronzer and powder blush. So next I'm using the Kosas, the Sun Show bronzer in the shade Ex Escape. This bronzer is very pigmented. Um, I feel like I could have went a shade lighter. Um, I don't know if you can tell, and I'm really trying to go with the light hand, but this is a truly pigmented bronzer. I would definitely say if you have not tried it out, I do feel like it is worth it. It's kind of like that baked formula, which I really do personally like. And for highlighter, this is the Cali Ray Highlight. Um, it's a beam, beach gleamy highlighter. And this is in the shade Moonlight Beach. Very soft and kind of like a baked formula as, as well, not glittery. All right, you guys, so these are the Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipsticks. These retail for $28. I picked up only two shades. This is Tribeca, which is an intense blue. And then the last shade that I have is called South Shore, which is a cool pink nude. Um, they did release 18 shades. It does say it's a obviously satin finish. Um, classic creamy satin lipstick with a soft sheen. These are the two shades swatched on the back of my hand. So the first shade that I'm going in with is called South Shore. I like to use all lipsticks and mainly all glosses with a lip liner, but obviously for the purpose of swatching, again, this is South Shore. So it is described as a cool pink nude. This next shade again is called Tribeca, which is considered an intense blue red. So I feel like the red lipsticks that have like a blue undertone look better on tan and deeper skin tones. In my personal opinion, it doesn't look too bright. I feel like a burgundy lip liner will go perfectly with this shade. Um, they do feel and look extremely creamy. Um, but yes, this is Tribeca. So that red kind of stained my lips a little bit. But now I am going in with my Limitless Brown um is it limitless brown lip liner from makeup forever i am just going to outline the lips and then i am just going to go ahead and go over top with the nyx duck plump gloss in the shade banging bear so i really wanted to test that out and see how it looks how it works again i have to use a lip liner All right, you guys, so that concludes today's makeup video. What I will do for the NYX Marshmallow Setting Spray, I am going to go ahead and film a shorts. That way, that will be my check-in, so definitely look out for that um, because I really want to get this video up, but I am going to film like my wear test 
on my YouTube shorts. That way you guys can see how my makeup lasts. I do have oily combo skin. So we will put this to the test since it says it is a matte setting spray. As far as the Makeup by Mario lipsticks, they are comfortable. They are very creamy. I do like the satin finish. For me, it doesn't matter if it's satin or matte. I like both. Um, however, I will say when I went into, into Sephora to swatch them, I feel like a few shades kind of look the same. Um, and that was Bronx Baby and I want to say Midtown. Those two shades look the same. I might pick up one more of the Makeup by Mario shades. Um, I do still have the Anastasia ones that I am going to demo for you guys as well. And then in regards to the NYX Duck Plump Gloss, again, this is in the shade Banging Bear. So I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys here because I did not do that. What I will say about this, this is honestly probably going to be the only shade that I purchase. I don't feel like you need every shade of this gloss uh, for me because I am more of a nude lipstick lip gloss kind of girl um this is fine but again it's been about five minutes and i still feel like this burning stinging sensation now it's not bad and overwhelming like nick's i'm sorry like the Too face uh lip injection i compare a lot of things to that because i had a really bad breakout um i turned red it was just a ugly mess with the the Too faced one as far as i'm concerned i feel like the fenty heat glosses and the sephora lip plump glosses are a lot more comfortable than this one um like i said it's not too bad it's not like i personally don't feel like i see a difference in my lips it's not bad to the point where it's like it's uncomfortable as far as the burning sensation but i definitely feel it um and again it's been about five minutes so i can't wait to see exactly how long it you know, this feeling last on the lips. Um, a good thing that I have not had like a reaction or anything, but it's okay for the most part. That is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe and be blessed. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.